the boats will capsize. There is no deep ballast on these boats. All that is keeping them upright is the crew. People on the boards have to move in and out very quickly as the wind conditions change. Jibe is a kind of most dangerous maneuver that we do on a log canoe, because that's when most of the capsizes and mishaps happen. So that's when the wind comes across the stern and the sails go across like that. If a puff comes and you're not expecting it, if the board men don't go out fast enough, or if I don't react fast enough, or the four sheet tender doesn't react fast enough, the boat goes over. Everybody goes swimming. We capsize more often in no air or light air. If you could sort of think of a, a bicycle while you're standing still, you can't balance it. But once you get moving, the balance is a lot better. There are some that are very quick and that just catapult the boardman over the side. And there are some that are agonizingly slow, where you think at first, we can save her. We can save her. No, it's gone too far. It's definitely gone too far. And we're over. We were just overpowered, and over she went. And once the boat reaches a certain angle, gravity takes over, and no amount of leverage on the fulcrum will, will bring the boat back upright. So at that point, gravity takes over. The boardsmen are flung off the boards. And now we have to pick up everything that was floating in the boat, bring it onto this boat, and the crew in the water will derig the sails. And we'll bail it out with buckets. You get started by taking water out faster than it can flow back in. We've tried pumps. We've tried different ways. But the fastest way to get a canoe back on its designed water line is to bail it out with, with five-gallon buckets and a lot of people working all together. Capsizing a log canoe is part of the experience. Everyone does it. Everyone will experience it. Everyone will do it again. <laughs> so no matter how long you go, it's coming. Like, we know it's coming. 